All right. Yeah, let's take one over here from Ac Professor X says, um, hey there, fans of goofy ass comic book colors. Last week, you mentioned that Marvel, mov Marvel movie color grading and Zack Snyder movie color palettes suck. Um, and you didn't we know did. why people did that besides not wanting to be seen as goofy comic booky bullshit. Well, there's another potentially really dumb idea. It's a film theory called desaturation theory, which says uh -huh. desaturation theory suggests that by desaturating even to the point of omitting chromatic colors altogether, we can entice the viewer to participate in the event rather to look into it rather than merely at it. Such desaturation is especially successful when we need to reveal or intensely an inscape or an internal event. Um, dot, dot, dot. Black and white video commercials are a direct application of desaturation theory. Total desaturation renders the event low definition, which forces the viewer into a psychological involvement, quote unquote. And this is from uh, Sight, Sound, Motion, Applied Media Aesthetics. What's really funny about this is that there's a psychology paper from the late 1900s, early 2000s that flat out says, states... None of the interactions supported that theory. This, that is to say the responses to monochrome clips were not more powerful than any of the content categories except for neural valence images. So uh, it's one of the top five Google, five Google results for desaturation theory. It's highly probable that the uh, decades of film and TV have been ruined by film theory for people who huffed their own farts, wrote some bullshit, and got colleges to push it into aspiring directors and cinematographers. Uh, hope that makes your right. appreciation of brightly colored costumes make a bit more. That's I have, I have, I'm gonna, I'm gonna transition this into a slight addendum about the word theory. Theory does not mean the same as it does in the arts, as it does in the sciences. Film theory means I invented this concept and pulled it straight from my ass with absolutely no backing in the real world now sometimes that can be good sometimes like color theory can i was be about to say for years and years and years from and the world of art from the world of art color theory is both art but also science and it's based right. on how you perceive color yeah because what do you do you you get your idea and then you test it over well color theory fuck like thousands and thousands of years right Film theory, film is brand new. Film is brand new. So if you go, hey, I have film theory. Here's film theory. And then you go, what is the basis for film theory? And the basis for this film theory is a director said it in the 60s. And then you go, what else? And they go, boo. Then mm -hmm. you have created film ideas on the several, same level as chiropractic. Like you have, you have based like real decisions on the ideas of ghosts. Nice, nice speech, Senator. You got a source on that? <laughs> my sources, I made it the fuck up. Um, again, I will just, I will be the asterisk, uh, uh, the boring bit asterisk over here to say that color theory. Uh, as applied to, you know, again, the study of how your perception of colors and the mixing of them and the emotions they evoke and stuff is something that you can then throw into other mediums, including film. So you can drop mm -hmm. a color, uh, uh, you can drop color theory into film, you can drop it into whatever different medium and as a baseline thing, mm -hmm. it can interconnect, but... Um, the idea that a bunch of people Googled a search result and something in the top five was going, hey, desaturate your movies to get the people to care more about the scenes they're watching feels mm -hmm. very plausible for uh, um, a bunch of rewriters that are looking to get their names on credits by fixing things that aren't even broken. You know. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna head off something at, at, at uh, uh, off at the past because somebody described that I should take a media literacy class, which is very rude. Um, I'm not saying film theory is de facto incorrect or nonsense. I'm saying film theory with no realistic basis in anything other than the fact that someone wrote it down is nonsense. Like every idea that is based in nothing but what some guy wrote down. Like as we just described, as Willie just read from the email, when you actually test it, yeah, it's nothing. 
It's like fucking. Right. Oh my god, Nolan! Fucking, I would fight Christopher Nolan right now in the Why? street if Why? I saw him because he ruined audio uh, in TV and film. Uh, okay. Because Nolan said you shouldn't. Be, he has said verbatim, "You should not be able." to hear all of the dialogue <laughs> because that's not like real life. Oh, man. It's more realistic to not be able to hear what everyone is saying. So he purposely mixed his audio really bad. Like bad on purpose for the Batman movies. And then for fucking Dun Dunkirk is apparently unwatchable without subtitles. Okay? This <laughs> became popular. So now because we have a gen we are a generation who grew up watching a lot of foreign language shit and also want to hear things, now subtitles are assumed. I can't watch anything without subtitles anymore because I can't hear anything because the fucking sound mixing is so bad. Blame Phil Spector and his wall of sound. This is the true culprit behind the scenes when you pull the mask off. Annihilating like Chris you. Nolan. Oh, fucking Chris <laughs> Nolan. Fucking actively ruined the audio scape of film. That's hilarious. <laughs> To, and, well, here's the thing, though, and like that the 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 mixing level of that bullshit is uh, when it it's the single in, when it's the the uh, the inception note the blah right the moments like that are strong and defining for what they are, um, but yeah, when you can't hear shit or when like Spider Verse has to tell every theater to go oh tell the viewers to go tell the theater to turn up the mixing. Uh, because people can't make out what's being said. So a lot of people have watched Inception, and that's not a Batman movie, so it works really well for this. Inception's audio mix was explicitly designed for IMAX theaters only. Mm -hmm. That that blah noise that is ten times louder than everything else in the movie is supposed to fucking hit you like a truck. And then absolutely no considerations were made for the way that most people were going to watch that movie, a.k.a. at their house. Mm -hmm. And you still have situations where Netflix is kicking your stereo TV down 5.1 Dolby because that's what the studio sent them. So the dialogue channel, which is in the middle, is getting split out to your speakers and is massively fucked up. Yeah. Um, Nonsense. Again, also, Crunchyroll got caught fucking put up machine translated fucking translations this week. Of course. Too lazy to pay even one translator the shitty wages they were paying them prior. They've jumped straight ahead to machine translating anime. I'm pulling this out of my ass completely, but I would not be surprised if there were a direct link from that concept you're describing to, again, Phil Spector's Wall of Sound, which was a recording method back in the day that was one of the first... Uh, uh, things from the 60s which was a way of making recording music and then playing it back where you were annihilated with sound where mm -hmm. you couldn't really hear the cl the crisp like separation of instruments you were just blasted with all of it at an even like overwhelming level and it and it uh, a lot of pop hits and a lot of things that blew up and a lot of artists that recorded with them at the time did so in a way where it, we just we mixed everything even higher and recorded over the same instruments to create something that just sounded louder than every other song you were hearing on the radio at the time fucking mm -hmm. noise coming at you gets your attention and it works hey i'm gonna i'm gonna point out uh just to my earlier point if you want to look it up uh it is episode one of the yuzuki family's four sons and if you want to take a look at even like four or five screenshots of any fucking text on this thing, you too can tell that this is obviously machine translated. No one would ever fucking translate this shit for real in this manner. Uh, and it appears to be translated from English, sorry, from Japanese into Chinese into English because of the way some of the words have been fucked up. Oh, on, on, the, tra on the subtitle thing? Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what did I just see? I just saw a story where, what was it? Um, there was a company that banned. Was it? Uh, was it not Kickstarter? Someone banned AI art, including something for board games. A story popped up with that as well. Anyway, it was a uh, ban it. It was something. 
uh, uh, while we were while we were talking. Um, yes, is- yes, chat, chew, chew. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Fucking Du Wang coming back. Um. Okay. Anyway, there you go. There's your. There's your. Your email. Uh. Yeah. I. I. I really do. I really do believe a lot of weird bullshit that happens in movies and in games and and, and things like that can be solved by just googling something and finding out that the top result is fucking bullshit. <laughs> you know, I bet you you can answer a lot of David Cage problems by just googling a stupid ass thing and clicking the top result and seeing what it says. Or not even the top result, but the down arrow that just gives you an answer right there on the page. You know, if you can just reverse engineer someone's fucking searches, I bet you you can piece together horseshit writing constantly. I, I'm like, I'm like, I am trapped in my own mind right now because all I can think of is like Chris Nolan sitting there going, I'm a fucking genius. I'm a fucking Hollywood director as he's telling, what's the fucking, uh, the guy who played Bane, the, 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 the uh, Mad Max Hardy? man. What's that, sorry? Ed Hardy. He's telling him, yeah, do a voice that I that no one can Tom understand. Hardy, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Yeah. Okay, Tom. I need you to do a voice uh, that we're gonna modulate uh, so that no one can understand a single one of your lines in the entire movie, and that way you're gonna be a really imposing villain because no one will know what the fuck you're talking about. And then you're gonna turn to talk to Christian Bale, who I have made do the shittiest, most unintelligible Batman voice ever. And you guys are gonna have scenes together in which you're growling at each other and no one knows what the fuck you're saying. I mean, the meme is unstoppable for what it's worth. Bane's voice for till the end of time, you know, that that is that is power. <laughs> it stands the fuck out. Like, you're uh, looking at the fucking... They're fighting on the steps. You, uh, this is Gotham. The, I, you can't understand me. And and Nolan's going like, oh, the masterpiece. Oh, this right here. Like, fucking Ooh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, I mean, I just... They need I, to I, distort his voice also? I from need to go... Shit, yeah, oh, my God. I need to go watch Tenet so I can find out why people are, like, getting sick of Nolan's bullshit. Like, I'm, st- I'm, not, seen, I'm not sick of it. I still I love Nolan's scene, shit. I have seen <laughs> one part of Tenet. I, want to, I need to find out why the world is turning <laughs> on Nolan. I I, I need to uh, know. God somebody in the, point, in the chat points out that though both of those voices were the choices of the actors. And you're right. And it's the director's job that when they see the actors do garbage to say, no, I'm the director, do it good. That is why the director is there. They direct the actors to do a good job instead of their stupid bullshit. And some are more draconian than others. And will like, like for be- fuck's sake, if I was fucking looking at that scene, I'd want to mix the audio so bad you couldn't hear it either. Okay. Um, and 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 um, speaking of uh, um, tenets and and I suppose uh, uh, things ending the way they begin, um, I'm I've got to uh, avoid a bathroom. You got a poop disaster. I, I got yeah. a, a potential disaster brewing. So. All right, great, perfect. Let's cut it there. You go fight your battles, sir. Goodbye.